Hi there, this is Dave again, and in this last video, I'm gonna show you how to design proposals using our proposal editor. The best way to format or design any widget is to use the vertical toolbar that pops up on the right-hand side of any of your widgets. You can see here that the top icon allows you to move the widget. The next one down is the background color, so you can change the background of any widget using the color panel or by inputting a color code manually. The next icon down on the vertical toolbar is the border icon. You can add borders to any widgets using this panel below. First, just add in the thickness you would like the border to be. Usually this is around five to 10 PX. Choose the type of border and then choose the color that you would like the border to be. The next icon down allows you to remove padding, which is extra space at the top and bottom of the widget. This can be very useful to design. You've then got the duplicate button and the delete button that allows you to copy and delete widgets. The merge widget feature allows you to merge one widget with the one below. Just notice though that this will mean that the widget below will take the formatting of the one above, as you can see with the border here. A quick design tip I'm gonna show you is how to use dividers to really make your proposals pop. If you just add a divider from the widget panel and then click on background and then no background, once I add the proposal background in a second, you're just gonna see exactly how great this can look. So let's click on the design tab and go over to proposal background. I'm clicking on client view so you can see where we're starting off with a white background. Next, you can change the color of the background using the color wheel that I've already showed you. And this will immediately change the, the color of the background and the look of the proposal. You can also add images as backgrounds, and this is awesome. So I've already got a few added to my proposal, and this is exactly what it'll look like once you've added a background. So this is a background image. Next, I'm gonna show you a background texture. We, we love to use transparent textures because this means that you can add a texture to your proposal and still change the color afterwards. So for example, we've added the texture now and we're gonna change the color. And let's take a look in client view and you can see that it's a, the, we've got the background texture and whatever color we like. So these are the different proposal backgrounds that we've just used. One other awesome feature that allows you to design really fast is the use of checkboxes. If you click on the show checkboxes in the design panel, and then you'll see all the different checkboxes next to each widget on the left. Check the ones you want to format, and you can then choose the background colors and format multiple widgets at once. You can do the same with font attributes. So you can change the font colors and the fonts themselves in multiple widgets at the same time. And you can also do the same with the borders. This allows you to design on perfect event proposals much, much faster than if you're formatting each widget at once. This brings us to the end of the new user training. So great work and good luck with your proposals.